Hey, welcome back. I've already done videos on Themify product filter, which is free plugin for use for WooCommerce to make your filters look so much more better as you can see over here. And just using categories, because it allows you to pick colors, sizes, all of the attributes and any other custom fields that you've got within your products to make it easier to filter for them within your shop. Now it's a free plugin and um, it's great when you're setting it up for the desktop or the tablet, but when you come to do it on the mobile, it's not so good. Um, I'm just gonna very quickly show you here. So the Themify, it's a free pro it's a free plugin. Please go and install it for your WooCommerce shop. But like I said, on the mobile, when you have like loads of items available at the top or to the left or right hand side of your page, it gets too cluttered, right? And sometimes what happens on the mobile is it puts it right at the top of all of your products. And if you've got loads of filters, you're scrolling down to see the items and you're scrolling back up to change the filter. It gets a little bit messy, right? How can we do a off canvas pop up which still contains the filters? It's so simple and easy. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So once you've installed the Themify product filter, please remember I have done videos already. Go in, you'll see it in my search for it in the videos, which goes through step by step what you need to do. It'll be available in your WordPress dashboard and it's product filters. And I'm going to go over here to product filters. I'm gonna get rid of this one here, because I was testing stuff earlier, whatever. And I'm gonna add in a new filter now. Imagine this is a brand new site. I will create a filter that's gonna sit at the top or to the side of the page, okay? And I would probably create it and give it an identity and I would use it. But what if I wanna create one that is specifically just for the mobile? We click add new. And I'm gonna give this a name and I'm gonna kill, kill, call it filter mobile. Like I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna copy it, leave it, filter mobile. This is where you decide now, is it going to be vertical or is it going to be kind of horizontal across the top? For mobile, obviously going down vertical makes sense. I'm not messing around with the settings here. Please go and watch the video for that, okay? All I want to show you is how we start to do the layout. Now, this is, well, there's two things you need to be aware of. Number one is you're going to show the results on the same page. Now, because this um, mobile is going to be a pop-up, and it's gonna sit within a pop-up. If you do it on the same page, it's not gonna work because it has to be, because it'll then be within the pop-up. So I'm gonna say, show the results on the shop page. Because I only have one shop page on this website. So I want it to show on the shop page. Now, if you've used that shop page to also be used for your categories when you do the display conditions, you'll be covered, you'll be totally fine. But if you've got a really complicated website, this might not totally work for you. But I'm going to say to show the results on the shop page. So the pop-up will be there and the results will be there as well. Now, I, just for simplicity, I'm just going to add in the, uh, let me just move myself a little bit there. Let me move myself there. In fact, I'm going to add in the category field. I'm going to add, sorry, the color field. I'm going to add in the in stock field as well. I'm not going to change any of the titles. I'm going to add a submit field, um, which is so much better. What I hate is when you click a filter and it, and it, and changes. I prefer it to do it after I've picked all of my selections. I'm going to pick in the price as well. Look, I'm just showing you again, if you go through the theme by step by step, you would be going through all of these items anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it as that at the moment. By the way, I shouldn't go into this. If you don't want to show the label, you can show it um, based on, uh, am I on the color one? Yeah, here you go. Display color as color icon. So what you would do is it picks up all of the colors I currently have available in my products, dummy products, by the way, and I can then pick a color scheme for them. That then means that um, rather than having black, blue, green, whatever, you just pick the color, which can be a bit more visually stimulating. Anyway, let's do that. We've saved it. Okay, so once we've saved it, just bring myself down here. I'm then going to copy this filter uh, short code here. That is the short code we're going to place into our pop-up menu. So let's go over to template and we'll go to pop-ups. And we're going to click add new. And it's going to be a pop-up and I'm going to call this again filter mobile. I'm going to create template. It's going to be, a, I mean, this is where you can be like quite unique with how you want to create it. We're not going to use any template. We're just going to have a blank page. I'm going to say that we're going to have one section. It's going to be a full width no gap and the height is going to be a VH of 100. Why 100? Because I want it to be the full height of the screen. Okay, now we're going to go over to the cog in the bottom left. Please watch videos on pop-ups if you're unsure about how to create it. 
I'm going to set this to be a VW. If I do 100, it's full width. I don't want full width. I'm going to change this to be about 95. In fact, we'll go with 90. OK, so that um, you can still see a little bit of what's underneath after the pop up appears. So you don't get confused and go, oh, where's all the items gone? This is going to be to the left, stuck to the left of the screen. And I'm not going to change anything like that. There will be an overlay because I want it to kind of overlay a bit of a shading on the stuff behind. And there will be a close button. In terms of animation, I will say fade in from the left. And when it exits, it's going to go fade out on the left as well. So it comes in and it goes out like that. OK, pretty, pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to mess around too much with the style of the close button or anything like that, because, again, that's what you would do normally in pop up. And that's not the focus of what we're doing here. We're now going to drop in a short code like so. And then I'm going to drop in that search, short search, the short code from the product filter that we'd already pasted. Nothing will appear. That's sometimes how short codes work. What I do need to do though to the section is just put this column position to be at the top. And I am just going to give it a little bit of padding. I don't know. We'll just go with 10 all the way around for now. OK. And I'm going to publish this. I'm not going to add in any conditions. I'm just going to say uh, save and close. You can add in a condition if you want. OK, it's up to you, but I'm just going to do save and close. Let's now go back over to our templates. By the way, because you are in a pop up, you can stylize it so you can add in extra items. So you can have your filter, but at the bottom of the filter, you could still add in your social sharing icons. You could even add in a, um, a link or an image of a particular product that you're trying to force out there to them. So don't forget, it is like Elemental, so you can add whatever you want into there. Don't go crazy, though, because you don't want to deviate from them actually picking something, because otherwise you might lose the conversion. Right, let's now go over to our pages. Um, I'm going to go over to the, well, I'm not going to go to the shop page. What I'm going to do is go to the shop template, OK? So we're going to save templates, and I'm going to go to the shop one, which is over here. Why am I doing it on the template? Well, because I want this to be available whenever you go to the shop page. So if you go through a category or anything like that, it's always going to click onto here. Edit with Elemental. So we're in our shop page again. This is a fake shop, by the way. Please do not buy anything from it. I will not honor any purchases. I'm going to just go in and I'm, I could use a button. I'm going to use an icon instead. So I'm going to just drop it kind of over there. So just within to the shop window. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to make this to be a left align. Again, you don't have to do that. I'm just showing you. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type uh, bars like so. Let's move myself there a little bit and just insert that. So now we have that. Now I'm going to stylize it a little bit before we do anything else. So I'm just going to make this be a white like that. And I'm going to leave the hover as a white as well. Don't want to change that too much. Now the advanced, I'm going to go to the background of this and I'm going to give it a background color of the purple like that. Notice how it's filled up the whole thing, which is what we so don't want. I'm then going to go to positioning and I'm going to make this be a custom width. This is now the point where you're going to obviously change around the styling of it. So let's just go back in. Let's just make this a little bit smaller, something like I would say about 30 will do there. We'll just give it a little bit of padding. By the way, don't do what I do. I keep hitting zero, zero, zero. You're adding in a bit more code into your, your back end structure. You don't have to do this. This is force of habit. I'm so bad at this. So many people have pointed this out and gone, why would you keep doing that? And I'm like, well, sorry, everybody. I don't mean to do that. OK. Right, so I've just stylized that a little bit. Again, like, you know, you, you'll play around with it as to what you want to go. You could even put words in there. You could even add a completely different PNG, a symbol, image, whatever you want to do. The key bit is that we've made it a custom, OK, in terms of its width. So now it's shrunk down. Then what we're going to do is do the position. We are going to go for fixed. The reason we go for fixed, and you can see it's instantly jumped to the top there. Fixed mean it is going to be in that position no matter how many times you scroll up and down on the page. If you make it absolute, it will be fixed, but absolute, contradictory there, but it's absolute to the section. So if I stick it in the middle of that section and you've got another section below, it will now scroll out of view. Fixed mean it is always going to be fixed there for this page, OK? Not for every other page, but just for the shop page. I'm now going to go down to the offset and I'm going to pick percentage and I'm going to put this down to be 50. So it is now always at the 50% mark of your screen, no matter how much you scroll up and down. Now then, 
we are focusing on the mobile. You could have this on desktop, tablet, mobile, whatever you want. But let's just say, like in the demo, you had your filters already here. You've used Themeify, you've built it as a vertical or a horizontal, or however you've done it, and it is now visible on your screen. If you do that, make sure you go over to here, uh, go to responsive and make sure it is now showing, you know, correctly. But if you wanna have a totally different one for the mobile, which is what we're doing here, you would ensure that the desktop and tablet ones are hidden on the mobile, and the mobile one, which is what we have here, we're gonna hide on the desktop and the tablet, and it will be only visible on the mobile. I hope that is making sense and is pretty clear at the moment. So this is only gonna be visible on the mobile. Right, we update that. We then go to the content, and now we have to link it to our pop-up. You hit the dynamic tab, you scroll down until you get a pop-up, you hit the spanner or the wrench, depending on how mechanically um, minded you are, open pop-up, and we are gonna type into here, filter, mob there you go filter mobile and i am now going to update that so now at the moment if we preview this on a right we'll just do it on the, i'll just do a preview and we'll shrink the screen down okay so when i click it it slides in from the left and we now have those buttons now remember you could have done more padding you could have done things like that you can inspect the CSS and change the size of the fonts and all of that as well. Uh, it's only looking that small because I messed around with my uh, my themes earlier because this is a test website. But you, when you add this in straight from scratch, it won't be completely that small. Okay, just bear that in mind. But right now, I've got loads of items um, visible over here on this shop. Okay, look, loads, loads, loads of items. Fake dummy store, right? I am intentionally only going to pick blue, right? I hit blue and hit search. And there we go, it's now, that's not even blue, is it? This is a fake dummy shop. But look, we only have one item on the screen. Let's go back in over here. Um, there was a setting for reset the filter. I didn't add that in. You would have seen, noticed it in Themify. I should have added that in so you can reset the filter. Let's go for um, black, like that. It's now only gonna bring through the black products there, okay? Again, it's probably the same item, which is really weird in a way. Um, but that's because you select your options. So that's a really cool way of how you can use the Themify filters as a pop-up canvas menu. You're just going through the motions. You create your filter, you create your pop-up, um, you add it as a button or an icon, you call the pop-up, and you've now got your filter. So I hope this helps you. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Can't even get my words out. Like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you soon.